Okay, so have the dough ball of your semolina all ready for um, rolling out for your orecchetti. So what you're going to do is either take your pasta, dough spatula, or a knife if you can't find yours. That's fine. And wrap this back up so it doesn't dry out. And then you're going to roll it out into a rope. Um, and you just kind of even, just you look to get the feel of it. So you get it all rolled out. Um, I'm noticing that using some flour before cutting this, that way it doesn't get sticky and it helps it to tighten up a little bit. It's super helpful in making this. Um, you know, again, you have to you have to play with with these things, you know, figuratively and literally um, to get it all kind of down. But so you get it all even, your rope, your pasta rope, um, you know, about, about that thing. You don't want it super thick. Um, and then, you know, put a little regular all-purpose flour down. Uh, and then, you know, you cut your little pieces and they feel kind of like little marshmallows. I like having the flour down because then they don't stick together. And these are, these are kind of, you can make big arachettis too, but the little ones for the red sauce is what we're doing today. Now there is, you can do a little bit of a bigger kind that goes with um, like usually sausage and the, bro the broccoli florets. Um, and that one is pretty tasty too. But today we're just gonna do some red sauce. So we have these cut up and in some flour, and then you have your, you know, your different butter knives. You see which one works better. And then, um, so we'll I'll try to make sure you can see this. So you press down on it, but not all the way. You leave some of it, you know, so there's a rim. You want a little bit of a rim. That's gonna be the air shape. So just imagine that. So then, and then you pull, and then when you pull, it leaves that line and then you have your little ear shape. Um, they get better as you go along. Whoa, I just threw that ear. So this is after doing um, a few more of them last time. Kind of, you kind of get into the groove. Um, so you just kind of keep doing it and you want to kind of pull back with that because you want that little bit of stretch in the pasta and that like I said, that line, and then you push your finger in afterwards and they don't always break, but um, sometimes they do. You just keep going. You just keep rolling with that. You know, all of them are gonna be different. And unless you're doing this daily, then you're not probably gonna have each one of them looking perfect, but they cook up just the same. And it's really fun. So, and then when you do start getting the ear shape, then you're like, oh, okay, I, I got this, I got the ear shape, this is fun. And then you, you, keep, you can keep doing it like that and they'll turn out better and better. And so there you go, you just keep doing that. Um, you know, you can look up pictures of Oriketi if you wanna know exactly how they're supposed to look, that might help you as well. But see, I'm starting to get a little bit more of that, the dip in there, which is gonna hold your sauce really nice. And um, it's hard to see on this camera, but yeah, it's starting, they're starting to come along. So just keep practicing and keep going for it. And you know, however many people you're feeding, or if you want to dry them and bag them up, you can do that too. And then you have this for our dinner that we're going to have tonight. And see, they're starting to get more of a cup and look more like an ear. Um, you'll start getting the groove. So, flour everywhere. I love it. Okay, um, onto the sauce while this is resting. <laughs> 